Hi guys and welcome to Lisa's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make my stuffed pork chops. Something I like to make for like date night for just me and my husband. First what we're going to start off with is um, sauteing our spinach. I like to buy baby spinach. We are going to start off with about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Put our heat on to medium to low, and I'm going to press about four cloves of garlic. We are going to saute our garlic with our olive oil. Once your garlic starts to smell delicious and starts to sizzle in that oil, we are going to put our flame down to low, add our baby spinach. Once you start seeing the spinach cook and reduce, this is where I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. This whole cooking of the spinach process takes less than five minutes. Okay, now that our spinach is cooked, I am going to put it in a bowl and we are gonna set this aside to cool. We are going to start with searing our pork chops. So what I like to do is I usually call my butcher, ask them for two pork chops on the bone, and I say please cut a pocket into it. I usually stuff it with my ingredients, which today we are using sauteed spinach, prosciutto, and fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna remove one of my gloves and I'm going to salt and pepper each side of my pork chops. And what I'm also going to do is use some all-purpose flour and I am going to sprinkle the flour right on top of those pork chops on both sides. Pat it in there, shake off the excess flour. Now we are ready to sear our pork chops. We're going back to our trusty extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna coat the bottom of the pan with about one tablespoon. We're gonna put our heat on medium to high. Put my pork chops in the pot and we are going to sear them for about a minute to two minutes on each side. Now these are ready to get flipped. See how beautiful that crust is on each side? It's like a golden brown and this smells so good. Now we are going to shut the flame off we are going to place our pork chops right on our cutting board and we are going to leave this pot on the side because we will go back to it. But first, let's stuff our pork chops. I wanna open up the pocket here and I'm gonna first start off with a piece of prosciutto and stuff it in there. Then I'm going to put a piece of fresh mozzarella and a little bit of spinach in there and you're gonna kinda push it in. And then I'm gonna repeat the process one more time. We have a piece of prosciutto, a piece of fresh mozzarella, and some more spinach. And now that we have our pork chop nice and stuffed, we're gonna place it in our baking dish. And we're gonna repeat the same process with our other pork chop. Now what I like to do is I like to put a piece of fresh mozzarella right on top, and a little bit more spinach on top for color. And now we are going to make our sauce to pour right on top before we put this in the oven. Remember that really hot pot we had that we seared our pork chops in? We're gonna put the flame back up on medium to high. We're gonna get that pot really hot again. And then we are going to deglaze with about a half a cup of white wine. All right guys, so once you have your pot nice and hot with your oil, I'm actually gonna tell you to turn the flame off. Once you pour the wine in there, because it is an alcoholic beverage, you don't want your house to go up in flames. So we are gonna slowly pour the white wine in and be very careful, because you will get a lot of smoke, about a half a cup, and just with a wooden spoon, start taking all those luscious flavors off the bottom. You could turn your flame back on. I know some professionals love to pour the alcohol and see that flame come up, but in my house, we don't want any flames. And you're going to cook this until the wine reduces to about half. So you wanna just with a wooden spoon, just keep turning this because all the brown bits that are stuck to the pan are actually coming up. Now we add the rest of our ingredients. I like to add about a quarter of a cup of butter, which is about a half a stick. We're gonna melt that down a little bit. I will add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, some capers, about two tablespoons. And the last ingredient is some lemon. I like to use a colander because I don't want any pits from my lemon to go inside my juice. And I'm going to add about two lemons squeezed. All right, now that we have all these flavors mixed together, we are going to shut off our flame. We are going to pour all that delicious juice over our pork chops. Now remember, you are pouring 
hot sauce over something that's room temperature because you're going to put this straight into the oven. We're going to put it in about 400 degrees for about 30 minutes and I'm going to show you the end result. Okay guys, I think our stuffed pork chops are ready to come out of the oven. Okay, this is how they are supposed to look when they are completely cooked. Put a nice pork chop right in the center of the dish. Pour a little bit of this delicious juice right on top. All that delicious flavor. And it's time to serve. Stuffed pork chop, Lisa style. Good for date night, good for an adult party. Make sure you guys like my video, share it with your friends, tell me what you think, and remember to subscribe to Cake House.